Hi, I'm Trisha Trank and I'm a physical therapist with Seabreeze Physical Therapy and today we're going to be talking about how we can reverse carpal tunnel problems with utilization of exercise. The tools that we're going to be utilizing today is we're going to start with a one pound weight and if you don't have access to a weight you can use a can of soup or a water bottle filled with water and that will also work nice and easily. You also need a wrist splint that you will wear at night to allow your wrist to rest and recuperate from utilization during the day. What we want to do with these exercises is to strengthen the muscles around the wrist area. We want to start by having the wrist drop with the weight below neutral and then we'll raise the weight just to neutral position and hold that position for three to five seconds and repeat ten times. So dropping down pulling up to neutral position and holding three to five seconds. All right, next we're going to drop the wrist where the hand is in a different position with the thumb up. Bring the wrist again to neutral. Hold for three to five seconds and repeat ten times. Okay, next we're going to turn the hand over so that the palm is up and we will drop the wrist slightly, bringing the weight and the wrist to neutral. Holding for three to five seconds and repeating 10 times. Okay, in order to apply the wrist splint, you will just slip your hand into the splint. The hard surface will be down. Tighten the straps just to the point of comfort. You should still be able to wiggle your fingers comfortably. And this allows the hand to get a good rest at night so that it can wake up refreshed. Again, I'm Trisha Trink, physical therapist at Seabreeze Physical Therapy. And these are exercises that you can do to help prevent carpal tunnel syndrome. Um, make sure that should you have any increased pain or difficulty with your wrist or fingers that you contact your physician or physical therapist for additional information.